In Agda, uh, I was there for a short while. I don't remember how long. Um, I was uh, I was with my mother, and uh, and then uh, there was a lady who was a nurse. Her name was Sabine Zlata. She was a Jewish nurse working for the underground. The Germans thought she was Jewish. Uh, she was German, sorry, but she really was Jewish. And she was married uh, to Miron Zlatin. Sabine used to come in and used to take the children out of Agda, saying to the Germans that she needs them to do some work for her. So she took children that were a little bit older, uh, 7, 8, 10, 12, 15, if they allowed it. So she, uh, she took them out, and um, my mother heard about this Madame Zlatin and asked her. And she refused because I was too young. And she begged her and begged her. Apparently, Madame Zlatin had told me that she pulled at her apron to please take her, her one-year-old child. I'm just visualizing a mother doing that, and I. Um, so she um, she finally accepted. Uh, she wrapped me up in a blanket, uh, put me in the back of her uh, knapsack, and she wore. In France, nurses wore these capes that looked like nuns, and uh, she hid me underneath that cape. And when I met her. A few years ago, I asked her, wasn't she afraid that I would, I would scream or cry? Or, uh, and she said, uh, she gave me a piece of sugar to keep me from crying. And she found out about this family, Palares, who were helping a little bit at that time for the underground. Um, they were young two girls and, and a young man. Um, they were going to school, but they were doing some kind of help. So Madame Zata asked one of the girls, her name, is, her name was Paulette Roche, or Paulette Palares at that time, if, if they would be interested in taking a Jewish child who was frail and weak and ill. And they took me without even batting an eye. 